Blessings and glory, wisdom, thanksgiving, and honor, power and might belongs to our Lord forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. We worship you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. You are awesome, Jesus. You are mighty, mighty in battle. Ah, Shekinah glory, we bless your name. Raba raba shoda raba rihore bo sota raba rekere bo rihoro bo rekere rekere bo sh labrado koso toro bo riharaba. Lord, we commit today into your hands, O God. We ask, O God, that you take hold. Take over, Lord Jesus. Take over. Take over. We give you all the praise. Take we come into your throne room, Jesus. Hi, Adarabash. Abba Father. We worship you, God. Come on, somebody, as you join in, I just want to say welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Air Conference. The last prayers marathon into the year 2022. And as you come in, just say hello. Also, invite your friends and loved ones as we pray together as a community. Hallelujah, Jesus. We worship you. Oh, from the rising sun, great is your faithfulness, oh God. We worship you, God. We give you all the praise, we give you all the glory. I remain steadfast. Woo. To the sail, it will come to pass. Great is your faithfulness. Yes, this is our prayer in songs. Great is your faithfulness to us. Woo! From the rising sun to the set and same. I will praise your name. Hallelujah. Great is your faithfulness to us. Yeah. Great is your faithfulness, Jesus. Woo. We give you all the glory. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Just worship the Lord wherever you are. Worship the King of Glory, the Ancient of Days, our strong tower, our mighty ruler. Yeah, hallelujah. I put my faith in Jesus, yes, my anchor to the ground, yes, Lord, our hope and firm foundation. He'll never let me down. Yes, we put our faith in Jesus. Glory, our anchor to the ground. Woo! Our hope and firm foundation. He'll never let me down. Come on, somebody say that. I put my faith in Jesus. Woo! Our anchor to the ground. Woo! Our firm foundation yeah. he'll never let me down he'll never let you down not this 2021 into 2022 he will never ever let you down no matter what it is that you find yourself in yeah he'll never let me down Great is your faithfulness to me. Come on. 
on, sing it wherever you are, say, Lord. Great is your faithfulness to us. Yes, Lord. From the rising sun to the setting same, I will praise your name. Woo! From the rising sun to the setting same, I will praise your name. Hallelujah! From the rising sun to the setting same, I will praise your name. From the rising sun to the setting same, I will praise you, praise you, praise you. I will bless your name, Jesus. I will bless your name. No matter what I'm going through, God, I will bless you. I will bless you. Woo! Great is your faithful, faithfulness to me. Yes, that's our declaration today. Great is your faithfulness. From the rising sun. To the set of same, I will praise your name. Hallelujah! Great is your faithfulness to me. I'll still bless you, Jesus. As we're in the atmosphere of worship, just begin to bless the Lord, brethren. Ah, Let's worship the Lord. It doesn't matter how far we are from each other in the physical. In the realm of the spirit, we are one. Come on now. Let's worship the Lord. Say, Lord, I put my faith in you. I put my faith in you as I cross over into 2022. Huh? I know your faithfulness is with me. Huh? You will never ever let me down. Hallelujah. We put our faith, our hope, our strength, our burdens all on Jesus. He said, Come unto me, those who are heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. As we cross over into 2022, let your faithfulness be upon my life, oh God. Let your faithfulness be upon my life, upon my home. Decree it over your life, over your jobs, over your businesses, over everything that concerns you. Your faithfulness, I lay it all at your feet. That your faithfulness can be upon my life. Your glory upon my life. Your hand upon my life. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Let's just begin to clap and give the Lord a shout of praise. Yes, Lord. We give you praise. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you, oh God, for your goodness. We thank you for your love. We thank you. You are awesome. Hallelujah. Thank you for your faithfulness. You are a faithful God. Even when our parents fail us, even do you know, even a, a, a parent, a mother, a father can fail you, but God can never fail. Hallelujah. The love of God is so deep, it's so strong, it's so mighty, it's so powerful that it could never ever fail. He is faithful. His faithfulness is forever. His faithfulness is strong. His faithfulness stands. It stands. Hallelujah. We worship you, God. We worship you. We give you all the praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, somebody just worship the Lord. Bless the Lord for who he is. And as we've stepped into this atmosphere, let's just say, Abba, Father, cleanse us from all sin and uncleanliness. As we step into your throne, we ask, oh God, that you cleanse us from all sin and uncleanliness whatsoever oh God 
will make us unholy and unrighteous before you. Father, we ask, oh God, for mercy. Cleanse us with your blood. Cleanse us with the blood. That same blood that was shared on the cross of Calvary, that we might be saved, that we might be healed, that we might be redeemed. Let that blood begin to wash us clean. Wash us clean. Purify us with your blood. Purify us, oh God. And now we're going to pray. We're going to say, whatsoever is not of God that is in us, every mark, every stain, every seed of the enemy, Lord, let your blood wash it off. Wash it off. Wash it off. Wash it off. In the name of Jesus, wash it off, Abba Father, with your blood, wash me clean, with your blood, wash my children, with your blood, wash my spouse, with your blood, wash my loved ones, with your blood, let your blood begin to speak. We're pleading the blood of Jesus today. Huh? The blood of Jesus huh? is the greatest sacrifice that has ever been made in the universe. Nothing overshadows that blood, nothing supersedes that blood, even when those in the kingdom of darkness may use the blood of an animal or the blood of a human to make a sacrifice their sacrifice cannot supersede the sacrifice that Jesus made on the cross for you and I hallelujah Lord Jesus let your blood begin to speak let your blood begin to speak begin to speak for us <coughs> hallelujah 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 glory to God <coughs> excuse me <coughs> I'm just struggling with a little bit of cough <coughs> in the <this> season. <coughs> the weather is a little bit cold, but the Lord be praised. Hallelujah. <coughs> Excuse me. So now we're going to pray. <coughs> we're going to say, <coughs> Excuse me. Every idols sit in a stronghold in our land or foundation. Oh Lord, cut it off. Cut it off, cut it off, cut it off. Yes, Lord, cut it off. <coughs> In the mighty name of Jesus, every idol sitting as strongholds in our land, in our foundation, in our cities, wherever they may be rooted, wherever they may be planted, oh God, Lord, wherever they're seated, uprooted, oh God, Cut it off, from the foundation. Cut it off, Cut it off, Abba Father. Cut it off. Every idol. What does it mean for an idol to be sitting on your land? When an idol is sitting on your land, <clears throat> it's taking charge, position, territorial spirits and demons can operate. We're going to ask for the light of God to begin to penetrate into our land, into our foundation, into our nation, into our cities. <clears throat> light of God, pierce through my life. That's the prayer point. Light of God, pierce through my life and begin to drive away every darkness. Light of God, pierce through my land. Begin to drive away every darkness. Light of God, pierce through my foundation. Begin to drive away every darkness. Come on, I don't know where you are, but you ought to pray this prayer. Three more days into 2022, you are not crossing over with any baggage. Any luggage from the kingdom of darkness must not follow you into 2022. We refuse in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Light of God pierce through. Light of God pierce through. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Sister Victoria, Gina, Dr. Comer, and everybody else who's joining. God bless you. <clears throat> light of God. Light of God. Pierce through. Pierce through. Penetrate. Invade my life. Invade my foundation, invade the land on which I am, the land on which I live in, my city. And we're gonna pray that same prayer, but this time we're saying, Fire of God, pierce through my life and burn off every seed, every remnant of darkness, every seed of stagnation, every seed of setback, every seed of limitation. Pierce through light, fire of God, invade my life, invade my finances, invade my foundation, invade my family life, and begin to destroy my kind. Come on now. I'm gonna give you one more minute to pray that prayer. Fire of God. Hey, da, 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 da. 
go into the deep of the deep in my foundation. <coughs> The deep of the deep in my land, and burn off every seed, every seed of wickedness, seed of delay, seed of setback, seed of demonic manipulations, on assignment against the land on which we live in, on assignment against my foundation, on assignment against your children, on assignment against my family, on assignment against my career, on assignment against the work of my hands on assignment against my favor my fruits in the name of Jesus fire of God invade my life let me explain to you what that prayer means when you ask for the light of God to pierce through we know that where there is light darkness cannot stay when the light of God pierces through your life <laughs> it exposes every darkness every darkness gotta flee every darkness gotta give way when the fire of the Lord invades your life whatsoever is unclean that has been sitting comfortably in your life comfortably in your land that has been sitting enjoying drinking juice just laughing and saying yes this is my territory when the fire of God invades your life there's instant destruction of those remnants there's instant destruction of every uncleanness every infirmity every disease, every sickness every spell, every curse begins to burn off so pray it fire fire of God invade my life pierce through every aspect of my life both the seen and unseen the known and unknown the ones in the dark that eyes physical and spiritual eyes cannot see yes there are realms in the realm of the spirit there are deep deep realms in the realm of the spirit that only certain people who have the grace and the, 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 the legal rights to see those things that God permits them to see so there are things that you can't see even in the spirit there's a spiritual in the spirit hey that is deep 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 only by the grace of God if the Lord opens your eyes to see it so you're gonna pray anything that is not of God hiding in the deep of the deep that eyes cannot see even the eyes of the spirit cannot see father you see it all let your fire consume scatter destroy leave nothing behind pierce through my life and destroy any remnant of darkness remnant of stagnation pollution whether I was polluted in the dream by eating or drinking food ha fire of God purge me I am not crossing over into 2022 with any deposit from the kingdom of darkness with any demonic deposit no way I refuse let the devil hear you I refuse in the name of Jesus hallelujah Oh God, ha, ha. we ask for mercy today. Father, hear our cry. Hey, hey, hey. We call on you and you only. Ha. We have no power of our own. Hey, hey. But we trust in you, God. Some trust in chariots. Others in horses. Hey, but we trust, we boast in the name of our God, in the name of our Lord Jesus, hallelujah, the mighty man of war, hallelujah, hallelujah. Now we're going to pray this prayer. We're going to say, Lord. <coughs> let your mighty hand rest upon me when the hand of the lord is upon you ha, nothing can touch you ha, ha, ha. there is nothing the enemy can do ha. his hand he begins to control the things in your life hallelujah father rest your hands upon me <coughs> let your mighty hand just be upon me let it be upon my life let it be upon is it a business is your business struggling 
what exactly is it that you are you're struggling with what is it just call it out he sees it all he's our god whatever it is that is in the secret that bothers you even the ones the deep secret that you won't tell your your best friend your loved ones even the ones you're hesitant the lord sees it all and he's just waiting for us to open our mouths and just say it Come to me. He's our father. He's a loving, 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 beautiful savior. Just open your mouth and say, Lord, daddy, this is the situation that I find myself in. Father, just rest your hand upon the situation. Turn things around for me. 360 degrees. Rest your hand. Rest your mighty hand upon my life, upon my family, whatever it is, upon my children. Call your name upon me, my life, Ketral. Makaraba. Upon my business, upon the work of my hands. Father, let your hand, let your anointing fall in the name of Jesus. Now we're going to pray. We're going to say, oh Lord, my father, <laughs> let the heavens respond to me for my favor in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the heavens respond to me for my favor. What does it mean? That means that anything, even in the second heavens, any power, spirit, personality that is working, their evil deeds. Uh -huh. When your name is called, they have no choice but to respond in favor, in good, in the name of Jesus. The heaven will respond to you because the mark of God is upon your life. Hallelujah. Because nothing bad is to happen to you. So you're going to decree as I step now, from now, from this moment into 2022. Heavens respond to me for my favor. Heavens respond to me for my favor. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And then we're going to pray. Any power trying to take me out of alignment with God. <clears throat> this is a powerful prayer. Sometimes we're walking in alignment with God in the path, in different seasons. And then the enemy tries to use one way in his corny. You know, his, the enemy is very tricky, very stupid. I call it stupid. <coughs> you know? tries to use some corniness to try to pull you out of alignment you know try to pull you out of alignment that's why it's very good to be sensitive in the spirit and it's very good to to study the word and communicate daily with god so that the lord will help us discern the season we're in help us discern the tactics and the, the strategies of the enemies and it will give us wisdom on how to maneuver hallelujah so you're going to pray any power spirit of personality trying to take me out of alignment with god you're going to say god <laughs> let your fire begin to destroy them let them begin to catch fire begin to catch fire begin to catch fire scatter by fire we destroy their plot we destroy their plans in the name of jesus any power trying to pull me out of alignment with god fire of god locate them fire of god go before me now and begin to scatter them out of my way scatter them out of my business scatter them out of my job scatter them out of my education scatter them out of your ministry scatter them out of your finances out of your destiny out of the life of your children any power that has made any covenant with any personality on assignment to pull you out of alignment with god fire fire of god look it look it look it look it scatter locate and scatter and destroy them in the name of jesus and we're gonna say any altar speaking against my spiritual growth and my relationship with god <coughs> yes there are altars that monitor especially some people when they see that you're getting so close to god because the enemy doesn't want us to have a relationship with God. No, he wants to be able to steal. Remember, this war between light and darkness is for our souls. So you gotta stay, stay, stay in the lane where God is. But whatever power that is trying to pull you to stop your spiritual growth in God, 
to stop the desire of God inside of you. You're going to pray, let that power be destroyed. We paralyze that power now. We condemn it by the power in the blood and in the name of Jesus. We command that power to be condemned now. In the name of Jesus. We command that power to be condemned now. In the mighty name of Jesus. And you're going to pray. Every eye monitoring the affairs of your life. Monitoring your every move, your next move. In order to jeopardize, to destroy your advancement, to destroy your next level of what God has for you. Let that power begin to crumble in the name of Jesus. Let that power begin to crumble. We destroy it to its roots. Let the source of that power begin to catch fire. Let it be destroyed by fire. Let it be destroyed by fire. Let it be destroyed by fire. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And you're going to pray this prayer. <clears throat> you're going to say, Every door open for the enemy to enter into my life. Mm -hmm. This is a strong one. Any door open for the enemy to come into my life. Sometimes there are doors that are open. Sometimes caused by us, ourselves, by our own hands, by our words, our thoughts, our actions, whatever door that is open, oh God, for the enemy to come into my life, for the enemy to come into my business, for the enemy to come into my career, into my ministry, into my children's life, whatever it is that concerns you, Lord, we shut that door against the enemy. We seal it with the blood of Jesus. We seal it with the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we worship you, O oh God. We give you praise. Abba Father, we just want to thank you. We thank you, O oh God, for your faithfulness. We thank you, O oh God, for your goodness. We thank you, O oh God, for you make the impossibility possible. We thank you, O oh God, because you're a God that never fails. You honor your word more than your name. And your word, your name is yes and amen. And we adore you, Father. We adore you. We adore you. We adore you, Jesus. We bless you, God. We just want to love on you today, oh God. If we don't love on you enough, oh God, we ask, oh God, that let this begin to start a new beginning of a deep, excuse me, love relationship with you. If we don't show you or express love to you the way we ought to, to a father, Lord, we ask for mercy. We ask, oh God, that you reignite a fresh love, rekindle a fresh love, love relationship with you. Let us experience a fresh fire, a fresh new encounter with you. Let us see your face. Let us see your face, oh God. A new experience that will take us to a higher and a deeper level with you, oh God. A new encounter. A new encounter with you. An encounter. Us yearning and thirsty for you, God. <clears throat> an encounter that will be a testimony that will bring lives and souls to you, oh God. Make our lives become testimonies of you, oh God. Oh Lord, take us deeper, deeper, deeper into a love relationship, God. We ask for a deeper 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 love relationship God out with the old in with the new God a new fresh fire fresh encounter fresh experience experience like no other God experience like no other Jesus experience like no other in the mighty name of Jesus let your spirit Pour upon all men 
Let your spirit be upon us. Fresh fire of baptism. Fresh Holy Ghost outpouring. Holy Spirit outpouring. Oh Lord. And as you begin to touch us. And as you begin to visit us, oh God. Let your mark be upon our lives. The Lord, as your mark is upon us, that anything that is not of God will see your mark and see your blood and cross over. Jesus, it will cross over in the name of Jesus. And at this moment, we just want to pray against every untimely death, every covenant, every blood sucking demon on assignment against your children in this last three days of the year where lives get lost lives that are not due to be lost get lost whosoever is a target of a timely death in the last three days of this year and into the beginning of the year 2022 today we ask for deliverance. <coughs> we pull them out. We pull them out, God. We pull them out of every bondage. We pull them out of every grave. We pull them out of every pit that has been dug by the enemy. As it is written, when the enemy set a trap, or they dug a pit for me, they fell into it. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. No person will die before their time in the name of Jesus. We shall live to cross over into 2022. We shall live to see the goodness of the Lord in our lives, in the lives of our families, in the lives of our loved ones. Hallelujah. We give you all the praise, Jesus. Woo. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. We we'll cover our prayers in the blood of Jesus. Let our prayers, let this petition ascend to your throne room. Oh God. And let your blood speak for us and vindicate us every legal ground the enemy has against anybody under the sound of my voice. Let your blood be a legal ground that breaks that legal covenant the enemy has over us in the name of Jesus. I don't know who it is. But the Spirit of the Lord is going to come upon you. And as you experience that fresh outpouring of the Holy Ghost, just make yourself available to be used by God in the year 2022. That everything you do and say, it will be a move by the Spirit of the Lord. It's going to feel so intense that you're going to wonder. You might feel even scared because of how intense it is. But fear not, for that is the Spirit of the Lord. We want more of you, Jesus. More of you, God. More of you, Jesus. More of you, Father. We need more. Hallelujah. We bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you for your faithfulness and your love and the covenant of your son, Jesus. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know who it is, but if you were the one who felt the power and the presence of God hit you hard, 
Don't forget, you can send a message directly or you can put it on the stream right here and let us know because people want to know that the move of God, God is still moving. God is still moving. He's still moving in his mighty ways. He's still moving. God is moving. Yes, yes, yes. And when we're made whole by the word of our testimony, glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We worship you. You can send a, a, a direct message to us on this page or to admin at catrellmusic.com or you can simply just type it in if you're not shy and let us rejoice with you on that outpouring and let us tap into it as well. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Abba Father. We worship you. In Jesus' name we pray.